First, though, it's time for a couple of underreported holy mackerel stories in today's news. In Illinois tonight, the vote of the special impeachment committee in the Illinois State House was unanimous. 21 Democrats and Republicans all voted that Governor Rod Blagojevich of Illinois should be impeached. Next up, the articles of impeachment against Blagojevich will go to the full House, which is expected to vote on them tomorrow. If they vote to impeach, as they are expected to do, the state Senate will then try Governor Blagojevich and decide whether he should be removed from office. The committee has been investigating the Illinois governor since December 16th, a week after he was arrested on federal criminal charges. Earlier today, the committee released a 69-page draft report filled with alleged abuses of power. The report found that, quote, the totality of the evidence warrants the impeachment of the governor for cause. Now, in the hot seat in front of the committee today was Governor Blagojevich's pick for that vacant Senate seat that caused all this excitement in the first place, Roland Burris. Burris testified today about how he ended up with the appointment. Burris said he spoke to Blagojevich's former chief of staff in the fall and told him of his interest in the Senate seat should Obama win the presidency. Burris also said he was not aware of a quid pro quo to get the appointment and would not have participated had one been offered. Meanwhile, attorneys for Governor Blagojevich asked a judge to kick U.S. Attorney Patrick Fitzgerald off of this case, off the Blagojevich corruption case, because of Fitzgerald's big Blagojevich December 9th news conference, where he called the governor's conduct appalling. They're objecting to him calling the governor's conduct appalling. He did what? No. And finally, hats off to Al Kamen, columnist for the Washington Post today. He has apparently been trolling through the Department of Justice's official list of asset forfeitures for the year. It's kind of a mind-numbing, fine print reading that can be a rather thankless task for reporters. Well, it can be rather thankless until you come across something like this. Now, this asset forfeiture tally is a list of all the items that were confiscated by the Justice Department in the course of their crime-fighting duties. But these are the things that the DOJ didn't just sell or put up for auctions. These are the things that the government agent, that some government agencies decided to keep for themselves, to put to their own federal agency use. The current list includes $120,000 worth of jewelry, and $134 worth of porn. Federal agencies are using, somehow, 120 grand worth of jewelry and uh, some porn. Can I ask which agency is using the porn? I have a theory.